So we continue with our in-depth tutorials and I try to actually prioritize the most asked topics in my videos in the comments as much as I can. And today's topic is of course one of the most asked, which is the D pads. These pad sounds actually used a lot in the minimal techno, melodic techno, more ambient techno, in some of the cases also hard hitting techno as well, just to create this kind of mysterious ambience to the track. D pad sounds could be really tricky for the beginner simply because they will most of the time will crash with your kick and your bass sound if you overdo them and they will mud your mix and if you slightly open them up and they will start sounding like a two in your face or boring in some cases and even some cases they will start crashing with your lead sounds or other type of uh, percussions and so on and so on so they get quite tricky if you don't know the, some of the tricks that you should utilize but hopefully we will cover that today and you will get the theory behind it so that you can replicate it you can make your own deep pad sounds later on but before we start with the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button so that you get notifications when we make a new video a new video like this and one more announcement today which is that if you don't know i have a patreon and i have made a new goal over there so just go and check that out i don't want to just put it on the video so if you're interested to help me out you can head it over and read the goal and if you want to help then you can other than that let's sit down and make some mysterious deep pad sounds I think the pigments is a very good synth for making this type of sound simply because you have a lot of different filters plus you have wave tables and samples and so on. I am going to try to keep it simple, maybe simple wave tables or maybe I will just use the let's say analog part, basically the this part, so trio sliders, we can just use that actually, there is not a problem with it. So to start with we actually have to draw some type of a minor chord i will suggest sticking with the minor you can make a 7th 9th and 11th depending on how what your taste so what i'm going to do just to start or to make the sound design i need a core chord over here so let's do that Control shift m and then we open this up i'm thinking of maybe f minor simply because i think a lot of people is kind of a let's say using f minor a lot with their tracks so if we keep it that way maybe it's easier for you guys to use later what i'm going to do to start with i'm going to push this up and as you can see there is in the fifth let's push them down a little bit we can maybe start here and see how it sounds i know it will sound a crap at the moment we can push this uh, maybe get a, something like a sound filter push it down so like that I saw this. Of course, this is nowhere near to deep sounding pad. There are a couple of things that are missing. The first one being is actually the sound is a bit too high pitched. So what we are going to do, try to get that right by just playing with this. Could be. Let's try this. I feel like this is a good start. So what we are going to do, go back here. As you can see, we have only one oscillators over here. Let's make it easier for you. Let's pick a wavetable so that we have this guy, so that you are just seeing the single oscillator right in front of your eyes. Uh, what I need here, pick something that is kind of sounding dark enough and has a little bit harmonics in it as well. If I go, for example, sine wave, that is not what you want. And if you go triangle, still not there. If you just go for the, for example, soft dot, a lot of harmonics, it will be fine, but if you go something here, then you also get this kind of nice harmonics of from square. Doesn't really matter that much, but it's a good choice to start with. So what I'm going to do, because I'm gonna have one, I'm gonna have like this dark sound, I'm gonna switch to the matrix filter and close this up. To make it clear, I'm gonna go back and take a look at this EQ8. Look at the harmonics that we are getting it's fine it's good but it's not still spread enough so what you can do either you can use like an artificial uh, unison which is kind of using chorus or splitting those letters around or you can just basically use the unison if you have uh, pigments or serum or any modern synthesizer right and what i'm going to do increase the voices Let's keep it somewhere here and then you can take a look detune to see how much it spreads and where you want to get 
or if you want to get this really mysterious, really mysterious being really detuned so that the sound goes up and down in the tune. Or super focused, like this. I like to be somewhere around here. So I can still slightly hear this like a dis dissonant, almost dissonant sounds, but it doesn't take over the sound itself. Like that. At this part, I also suggest you consider maybe adding a bit more uh, notes depending on what you are looking for. So if you don't know how to add, you can the first thing, first take that you can do, take the seventh, ninth, or eleventh. So if you don't know how to do that, this is the first note, second, third, right, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Here we go. Let's make it longer so that we are keeping it. Seventh, right? And then you just count it. So what I'm going to do after the seventh, one thing that you should probably realize, look at this note, D sharp, and look at this note, D sharp. So you are going back to the like F, 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 G, and G sharp, and so on. So what you can do, if it is seventh, right, seven, eight, nine, but G is your ninth, for example. So it is this one. And then if you don't know from there, 10, 11, this is your 11th, right? Let's keep that as well. So I will start with the seventh. Okay, let's try this. This is almost kind of gives too much I made vibes and let's this. Kind of. When you are making deep pets, I would suggest that don't use too much chord progression. I oftentimes use one or two and the second progression often like the same notes, but I make it slightly different so that let me turn this off. So that moon is there, but it's not that much. So let's see something like this, for example. If I take this one for now, turn this off. And do something like this. Maybe like. Now you are wondering, but those were not one of these notes. If you remember, if you are in doing well, do take no fifth and sixth is like your butter and bread and butter. So I just wanted to show that, but we are going to go back to now our original candidates. Let's make it shorter. It is a bit too long. This is more like uh, if you are making minimal techno, I would suggest like uh, this really sounds like a minimal techno, right? Let's do it this way so that we have enough length. And now you can just make them as long as possible now. Like this. Then you can maybe add another movement here, depend on what oops, depend on what you want to do. But for me again, I really want to keep it minimal. Even this one is kind of uh, already moving a lot of things. Let's listen with the kick and see how it feels. Let's make it more mellow to techno by using that simple tick, right? Like this. You can make this a bit more pronunciated by like taking this off, finding this C and C sharp again here. So what we are going to do, delete this up. Here we go. Like you are already getting there, isn't it? But it is of course enough. The, the thing that you need is actually giving this ambience feeling to the sound. And if you don't do it, it will be a bit dull, like this. 
And this is exactly what you don't want. You want this is a bit more melodic. So I'm going to start with actually open this, open up this filter. And then applying another filter here. So I'm going to spice this up a little bit with maybe kind of, uh, let's say. We can take the same over here so that we get more. This is a bit less aggressive filter, so we get more harmonics get through. So we're going to do like this. It's like a kind of a more or less resonant sound. It's like smoother. And then take that um, matrix filter, turn this into do 24 so it's sharper and put it down. This is this much much better. Make it even darker maybe. Here we go. As you can see we are using just single oscillator. So what I'm going to do spice this up by adding another sound. So this is the important part. This is the kind of a uh, I would say contrast to the original sound. So what you can do, you can go again for the wave table and try to pick something that is different, that is a bit weird. It is up to you what you want to use. For example, I have these uh, different packs over here. So let's go the classical synth, bell sweep, organ. Let's turn this off. Yeah. Let's go super soft. It can go really fast. This is, if I turn this to 2D, you see this completely different than what we have. Let's turn this to 2D. This is like it's almost between square sign or square and uh, soft tooth. This is on the other hand like a sign wave, which a little bit is uh, in the meantime soft tooth-ish. So this one solo sounds like this and this one solo and together. So this is the part we should be considering now, a little bit EQ word work before we continue because we will add reverbs and chorus and on top of that this but think about it now if we make it too dark this will crash with the kick we can side chain always but then you have to side chain the bass as well because the bass is occupying that area as well so okay i don't want to have a reverb i just want to have eq so what we are thinking now first putting it to the mid side copying that and then we're going to copy that one as well and put it into the regular stereo mode. The first thing that I want to do, cut this off a little bit here, so that I'm not getting those super lows, like almost below 200. Especially, you see this one, this resonant one right on 200. It sounds really resonant, like at the end of 200, and this will really make your ba bass sound not to be heard. So that one especially be careful. So I'm going to take this off. I just want to have it a bit like slow, like this, so the sound is more balanced. We will come back to EQing, especially the mid side as well. But now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go to effects and try to make the sound wider. Try to make the sound a bit richer, and then we are gonna also add a bit movement on top of this. So the first thing, the usual suspects and delays and reverbs for this type of sound. We already have delay. I like to use a bit tape echo, really subtle one and make it, for example, make a stereo spread. So it's basically uh, sounding a bit different on each hit. The most important thing over here is the reverb. I'm gonna take something like a room or a hall or even cathedral. So I want to have kind of a darker reverbs. The reason that I want to have quite wet is simply because this will eliminate those big peaks here. Like it's harder to see, but we are adding reverb and it's adding also like filling up in between these spaces. So it makes it a bit less harsher or less resonant in, in that sense.
after this part, you can make the sound even more even if we add a compressor on top of that, which is kind of a good idea for this sound simply because it's a pet sound, it's filling up the Biha background. So having this warm, steady, low end will be really helping to you. So let's pick a compressor. You see how much it is working actually. faster just this beautiful love and, and fills up and makes the sound really much more interesting then comes the kind of a spicy part so what you can do you can use for example flanger phaser you can pan the sound a little bit this could also add up a little bit for you for example of course too much a slight movement we can maybe make it dotted so that it's a bit kind of almost giving this uh, polyrhythm feeling you can add as much as you want the, the another interesting thing could be definitely making a bit overdrive and see what happens or for example phaser always interesting for this type of sound Let's don't use it, let's keep it simple for the other people who wants to replicate the sound. So the reason I had the EQ8 over here is I want to check the stereo field, especially on the low end. I want to be really careful, especially with my stereo here, that I don't have too much information right there. If it is like the too much information there, it doesn't mean always bad, but it's kind of it kind of makes your track a bit less tight simply because too much stereo on the below 200 so what i'm going to do test this up after this one because we are cutting all the some guys over here this one we are on the side mid side here we are on the sides i'm going to cut that up for example let's make it more aggressive here we go because we cut it we can slightly boost it on the uh, on the low end, in the mid side, it's like this. And maybe cut a bit highs. So, the last thing that you can do here, basically putting a compressor side to the kick so that we have this glue going on. they have this kind of minimal feeling or minimal minimal melodic uh, ambience going on what I like to do this will be a bit longer tutorial unfortunately and simply because it is this is not enough still uh, you want to have a noise layer and then you want to a uh, movement layer on top of this because it's really low you don't want to have too much room to keep everything a bit tight on the low end but you can have a like I said move, moving high end another pet sound plus you can also add a noise level to make it a bit more interesting. So what I can do, what that means basically, I'm going to put another pigments, uh, or let's 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 avoid that. Let's make it a bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do, basically, put a, a simpler, so that we can get a kind of a weird sound, white noise. So in this case, this could be like a, I'm going to just type engine. I don't know if I have something like that. Yeah, 
this should this should do. So of course it's a bit too weird at the moment, but but you can do basically play with this. Uh, let's even convert this to sampler so that I can do a bit more trick. It is too high. Let's solo this again and put a simple note maybe. Dum -dum. C3. And play. Too loud. Put it down. And at the moment it is just like a single note over here, but you want to do basically, you want to keep it going back and forward. What I'm going to do, push it like this, right? And then add a crossfade. And then what we are going to do, add a compressor and really squeeze this one because it's cracking too much. And maybe volume down a little bit. Play together. Ah, I didn't like it. Let's change this sample because too correctly, too dynamic. So there's not right, really wanted. I don't know what I can do. Ambient maybe. I just want a weird ambient. So I didn't take a look what I had. Uh, percussion right effects. Uh, I'm really lacking this sound over here. I don't want to take something that I already know because then it doesn't mean that I'm doing it together with you. So what? Pink maybe? Actually, I should just type noise instead. Exactly. So... Weird noise. Here we go, this should do. And let's pick something in between. Solo this. Yeah, here we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Again, we are like compressing really a lot, but that's exactly what I want. Here we go. What you can do, it's a bit too wide. If you don't want to have this super wide feeling, you can decrease the video a little bit. And of course, we can take that side chain over here and do it again. But because I'm going to put another pen now, what I'm thinking, take this side chain, put a group so that we can side chain everything all together. Together with the pad. Look how beautiful it sits. Just good, just nice. Adding always this kind of sound layer for the deep pads creates this ambience. Uh, I sometimes just go to YouTube and just type like an engine noise or repeating ping noise or any type of noise and just sample it from there. But if you are interested in more type of more organic low end, this will definitely help. The last thing that I'm going to utilize here actually, making this moving sound, moving uh, since on. For that, I'm going to copy this, delete these notes, keep only two, F and G sharp, and solo that. And maybe put these guys up. Maybe one more. And then we are going to put the uh, pigments. This is the part you should be kind of thinking about the resonance, a little bit modulating, a little bit automating and so on, so that there's a movement in the sound. So if I solo this again, of course we have to put this into a new preset and let's cut this a bit. Let's put this one of the below. Like this. Of course, the sound at the moment is super weird because it's just sine wave. Uh, what I'm going to do again, I'm interested in weirder sounds. Like I'm gonna go to my maybe massive analog and then 
try something. Like it doesn't really matter at this point. What you want is something that is a bit different on the on the sound, so that you can resonate and play around later on. So let's play. I think that's good enough. We can add a voice. You don't want to make it too ambient because then both will be on the ambient on the side, so it will be too sidey. So I, I like to keep my moving sound on the little bit middle so that I can resonate and move it around myself with auto, auto pan and so on. So I'm gonna do it like this. Oftentimes, but thing that you should be careful about this is uh, taking off the resonance before you actually start resonating yourself. Otherwise, if two resonance sound comes on top of each other, it will be really harsh for ears. So what I'm going to do, I see that there is one day and I see that... This is the part I'm going to use a filter. The reason being is actually it's much easier to take off the resonances with the fab filter simply because uh, yeah, you can just find them and take them out. Yeah. Okay, like this super hush. At the moment, I know you are wondering what am I doing? Why am I doing this? You will understand in short. This is much more balance on to my ears. So this is the part where the fun begins. You can do this on pigments, but what I'm going to do, just use the Ableton's own effect so that you can uh, replicate. This is the part you are thinking of getting a bit creative, getting a bit LFOs, getting a little bit resonances, getting up filters, and going a bit slightly bananas. So in this case, what I'm going to do, are the effects. Let's get first auto filter, put it over here. And then we go max for live devices, get an LFO. Here we go. Put it here. Let's put the here in the beginning. So what I'm thinking now is actually moving this around. I can parallel. I can make it parallel, like duplicate this and do it in a chain. Or you can also do it this way. So I don't know at the moment which one is better. What I'm going to do, just start with this. Let's change the filter. Let's put a LFO on top so that it moves, it makes the moon for us already. What I'm going to do, take this, put it on to rate, and put it into hers instead. Rest. Let's increase the depth. Now you can also. Let's get an, a, a bit reverb on top. Another EQ. Let's make the sound even more interesting, just adding another sample, probably. Turn this on. What do we have with drum percussions? Let's pick something. Mm. The 
problem with this if we go back. Let's fall in this stuff. Maybe put a high pass here so that we don't get super lows. Uh, we can just use the multipoint actually. Let's get this here. Maybe increase the size. Let's make this slightly. Let's try this as well. Let's go back here. If you are hard, if you are having hard time to hear it, let me solo it for you so that you can hear a bit better. I think it's quite interesting. The thing that I'm not really super happy is the this one. We, what we can do? Try. Probably this one is a better option. Let's so, all together play again. Yeah. Let's turn this off. Yeah. is quite nice again we should play with the kick so that we can see if we it's really giving the ambience that we are deep ambience that we are looking for let's take a look Again, because we are making a lot of random stuff, like every time when I make this, I come up with another sound. And this is the really good part of it, because you are utilizing different samples. Technique is more or less the same, laying the sounds, giving getting this kind of wide low end, but making it so that it works on the mono as well. It doesn't crash with your kick and bass. And then adding this moving layer or adding this uh, background noise all together. The technique is the same, but because you diff we are using different things the end result result is always different which is really really nice which i which i really really love so as usual this will be on my patreon if you want to download the project if you like the low end and the kick and everything just go ahead on my patreon and you will find it there other than that i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it was not too long and i will catch you in the next one goodbye